Greetings fellow Wolflings and welcome to this AI only campaign video in which um, it's just a long series where the AI fights against the AI on the campaign I've played as Rebels blah 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 I've this many times before um, I, I don't know why I still do these in introductions you, you know what it is by now um, who starts watching a series on part 4? Yeah. maybe people do, I, I, I don't know yeah I'm still going to do it in the future though and at, at the end of this episode I will be checking the statistics so if that's what you're interested in then this is the episode for you anyway let's go so the French and the Apache tribes are now at war at last it's about time um, and I think the Apache tribes are just wipe out although the French do have an army here it's just not going to be enough I don't think an earthquake Ooh. Like it looks like all the Apache tribes when just did a Mexican wave or something Wow. <laughs> this is one wild earthquake. If this was earthquakes in real life, everyone would be dead. I, I like the animation, but it looks good. Yeah, this, for the time, this was quite good graphics to actually be able to just do this. It looks so 3D as well. It it's amazing. I mean, it stops. Oh, France has an, have an army over there as well. Yeah, the French are just going to get wiped out, I think. Um, of course, Orange, which is the, um, the Talaxkulans, um, I think. Um, they're invading the Mayans even further now. They have taken one settlement from them, and I'm sure they're going to take loads more. The English, we haven't really done anything yet. Um, oh, is this a war? Hopefully it is. No, hostility siege, siege between France and Spain. Spain have also taken the settlement here from the Mayans. That is what happened to the Aztecs going to happen with the Mayans. They just get attacked on so many fronts they just cannot hold out and they just break down. That could be it now. This could be the end of the Mayans. That could be doing what happened to the Aztecs. That, that will be interesting to see. Because, you know, who's going to take all the territory? Someone's got to take it all. Someone's got to look super strong at the end of this. And then whoever takes the most main territory here could possibly win. Unless the Apache tribes are quick enough with moving down south. But seeing as though they are the client kingdom of the Tishimek, I do doubt it. I think I think they're going to really struggle. There we go. Put my laptop back on charge because it was just running out. Twisted my neck funny than whilst putting my laptop in charge. Ooh. Yeah, that didn't feel good. Um, okay, so fighting some more rebels. Rebels just keep spawning everywhere. I really shouldn't have done that with my neck though. Ooh, the um, orange have uh, taken another settlement here. Um, the Tilaxkulans, yeah, I think I said the wrong one. Tanaskans and Tilaxkulans. Tanaskans and Tilaxkulans. Oh, my pronunciation is horrible. <laughs> okay, so the French, of, the French army here is still alive. The Apaches haven't destroyed them yet, although they will do soon. Okay, yeah, so they have thought cause to this settlement here. Um, and it looks like they're going to take this one as well, as long as they keep their reinforcements here, the mains aren't going to be able to get to that quick enough. So it looks like that's going to fall into the hands of the um the Tilatrillans. I'm just gonna call them orange again. What? Oh, um the beat is imminent, so that means the Tilatrillans, which are the orange one. They're close to 50 settlements. You need, of course, 50 settlements to win. Um, 
Yeah, we're close to 50. Um, no, they're not. Oh, I, I know why it must be. Um, it must be like 50 settlements to win for rebels. However, each faction must have their own individual, um, their own individual victory conditions. So, um, yeah, it looks like these are the closest to winning. Um, if, if we if the Talatsfalans do win, then that is the end of the series. I'm not going to continue it. It would be just like they have won. Um, because I can do that with the series. Something like that would never happen in Medieval 2 vanilla campaign. Just because the map's so big, it, it just doesn't happen. Um, and it looks like the Mayans have surrendered to the Talatsfalans. Or maybe you have the way around it. I don't, I don't know how that works. <laughs> but yeah, so that's... That means the orange one is no longer at war with anyone, so they probably can like go for Spanish or something. But they're, they're looking good now. And taking these two rebel settlements as well, they could win it. I, I think they really could win. And they've just taken another settlement. Well done to the Tlaxcalans. They're doing well. Hopefully they can hold on to it. If everyone goes to war with them, they're not going to be able to do it. And I did notice this. Um, first of all, um, the Tanisguns, the yellow one, has taken this uh, settlement here from the Shishimek and also this settlement here from the Shishimek, which looks really good on the map. I've got to admit, this settlement here. It is still connected to their own territory, but it also connects them to Apachean territory as well. Although it's not, there's not going to be much wars here, especially in this desert. I think it'll be interesting. The Tilachkunans have declared war on New Spain. Yeah, so that's orange that war with Spain. Just in the throw all the soldiers over here, destroy the Spanish, well, kick the Spanish out of Mexico, modern Mexico at least, and then that's done a have done a win. I think I've got a bit right now. I don't know, of course, but I think orange the Tlaxcalans. I think they're going to win it. I, I think they will. Yeah, and the Apaches are just crossing into French territory right now. Um, yeah, France is gone. France is not going to hold unless they can like get some um, agreement where they become a sovereign state of the Apaches. That they're not going to survive. Right, so they're pushing across the border. Yet, yes, they are. It's only a light push so far with some like, small. I'll, I'll call them scouting parties, sort of thing, before the main armies cross over. This is going to be really interesting. If Spain can hold, it's done a, yeah, it's done a like really weak and orange and then lengthen the game. But if orange can just sweep through, that's going to be it. No, nope, no one's going to be able to stop him after that. And, and the mains are just too weak now. They've lost territory to orange and territory to Spain. The English being in the land as well is not helping. Although the English haven't taken any territory, it's just it's not doing good for them. And they're still pushing and taking these rebel settlements. If the Tavistans sign peace with the Shishimek and push to um, invade the Tlaxcalans, these stupid names are starting to annoy me now. I can't pronounce them still. Then that could destroy Orange. That that could do a lot of damage because they'll be at war with Spanish as well, and but maybe the Mayans could get involved and take some of these. It, it could happen. It's nothing's guaranteed yet. Although this battle is here. Yep. The Tlaxcalans or the Orange one have taken this rebel settlement. There's only one rebel settlement left now, and that's um, the one um, here on the minimap. Yeah, the Apaches still having trouble with rebels, although that's not going to stop him invading the French. Yeah, this is the last rebel settlement. France, although they are looking... They've survived so far, which is good. The Apache tribes haven't destroyed them yet, I thought, like... If this was a human player leading them, it would have been just one clean sweep and have to wipe them all out, but... No, the French are holding on for now. The English are coming down here. Are going to completely skip the Mayans and just like go to war with Spanish or something? That that will be interesting. 
just that we, we don't want any colonization of any of this. We're just going to destroy the Spanish. For whatever reason, we're just going to destroy the Spanish. That, that, w that would be funny for the AI to do. Alright, so Orange, I've got a lot of soldiers here, enough to easily just wipe out Spain. All they need to do is push. Like the Apaches, they just need to push the France. They, just, they can wipe out these European colonies. E even the, the Mayans right now, all they have to do is push on the English and they'll wipe them out. The, the European colonies right now are not looking good. The American tribes are, but they need to do it now. They need to strike. This is the best chance. They need to strike now. It's going to be interesting to see if they'll do it. So a lot of orange armies there just piled on that rebel army and then they'll probably just uh, charge on the Spanish. We'll probably get to turn 100 this episode as well. Um, unless someone wins by then. And yes, the English took a very brutal hit there. The mains have just wiped them out. The mains have a lot of soldiers. The mains are looking good. They're back in it now. Although I don't... They're probably not going to win, to be honest, but the Mayans have got enough soldiers to be looking good. If you're supporting the Mayans right now, hope is not yet lost. You can still win this Mayans. You can still win. E even France can still hold out against the Apaches if they're just going to like this and so slow about it and come in two forces at a time. Who's going to win this first battle of our French or the Apaches? Um, no battle was fought. How about this turn? Um, I have no idea. <laughs> it looks like both pulls back a little bit. Right, I'll give it a third turn and then I'll start looking in other places. Okay, so the Tlaxcalans, the orange one, are sieging Spanish territory, as you can see in the distance there. I'll check that out soon. Can they take it? And it looks like the French beat the Apaches here and wiped them out. Come on, Apaches, you need to go in as one massive force and wipe the French out. That's how you need to do it. Ah, they did have a settlement under siege. Uh, they probably lost. They have enough armies to take them out, but they've been very slow about it. Same with Mains and English. And everything else, they just have the armies to do it, but they're not doing it. And the Tlaxcans are helping the Spanish with the rebel problem. Oh, the rebels defeated them. That's really not good. That's not what they wanted. Yeah, it's not looking good for the English now. They're about to get wiped out, I think. Oh, you need to stop attacking the enemy's rebels and start attacking the actual enemy. If they want to win this. Do I have a Spanish out at war with? Yeah, still Mayans, Orange and Yellow now. Yellow's at war with them as well. Yeah, they could send some armies down, probably won't though. Yeah. How is Orange doing? They're, they're leading right now. They're still allied with Yellows. They they own Green, which is the Mayans, and that war with Spain. They're, they're looking good even in diplomacy. The AI just needs to wipe out the Spanish and it'll be so much easier for it. The, the orange AI that is. All, all the Mayans as well, that they could do with wiping out the Spanish. That'll be easy for them. And it was. Nope. Not much. There. Not much has happened on the She Should Make a Yellow Front. Uh, are they still at war? Probably have. I didn't see any peace treaty, but then again, I didn't see war declared between Yellow and Spain, so. Uh, yeah, they are still at war. The Tavascans, that's what they are. Uh, Tavascans, right. Tavascans, Tlaxcalans. Tavascans, Tlaxcalans. That's so confusing. I'm, I'm still not getting it in my head. Maybe by the next series. Have fun sailed out. Yeah, France is still holding out. I was probably wrong uh, with this idea because the Apaches simply are not attacking. They're just 
for some weird reason they're on the defensive. That's a lot of armies in Shishimek territory there. It's not going to look good for Shishimek. It's not looking good for them at all. They're down to the final six settlements. They had like ten settlements, I think, at one point. Probably nine. N nine or ten. And yes, a, a Spanish territory has fallen. Orange is moving in now, taking out Spain. Looks like the mains are about to just dive in soon as well. Go all out on destruction. But I think Orange are going to take the settlement first. It's, although Spain do have a lot of armies, it's going to be interesting to see who gets it first. And these are quite good settlements as well for, for both factions that will look good on the map. Oh, is this a war? The English colonies have declared war with the Talaxians, so that's England at war with Orange. England have, I'll say, about five five units right now. That's going to do absolutely nothing at all to the Talaxians. Yeah, especially with Mainz, just keep attacking them as well. And that, it looks like they're go going to attack the Mainz as well. Yeah, that's not going to look good for them. Anyway, it's turn 100 now, so that's down to end part 4. Um, as I promised, I'm going to look at the statistics for those who um, enjoy this. I'm going to put in all the surviving factions, apart from the... I don't think the Shishimek are going to win, I think they're done now. Same with English, and... Yeah, same with European. So it's down, I think, to these final 5 factions, the 4 factions, and right now the, the last... Tilatch balloons are winning overall. It's strange how. Oh no, that's. This is overall. Yeah, I thought they all had the same overall score, but that would be very weird. Tilatch balloons have the best overall score, although it is dropping. Um, yellow are the Tavis guns. They've had quite a good rise. They, they could become a big threat. If they remove a the Shishimek completely, then they, they could be looking good. But mil military wise, it is of course the Telex Balloons again. Although the Apache and Tribe, so they've had quite a good military, although it's dropped now uh, for several reasons. Probably war with French and Nebels, and they're not taking any territory, so it's probably causing some economic issues for them there. Production wise, yeah, the Telex Balloons were doing so well with production, I mean, it just dropped. They must be having financial problems. It's going to be interesting to see um, if that is the case. Okay, so the the Tilaxclans are leading right now with 15 territories. And then the Mayans, the Tavascans, and the Apachians all have 9 territories and they're all drawing. So, right now there's first place for the Tilaxclans. Oh, the video, the same use isn't ending yet. Um, I'm going to make that to play, it's not ending yet. Um, but all these have drawn for second. That's, it's going to be interesting to see which one takes that one extra set on this and puts themselves into second. Financially, yeah, the Tilaxclans have just dropped, although it's not looking too bad compared to everyone else. And who is this? Yeah, the Tavisclans, they're very rich. Overall, they're not doing... they're doing okay, but you know, I think they're, they're, rich, they're rich, but they're not doing like as good as the Tilaxclans. And population, yeah, the Tavisclans are, of course, winning back. Hope you enjoyed this video, hope you enjoyed this series so far. And hope to see you in part 5. Good bye.